friends, Pastor Chester Hitchcock here with the Old Testament Gospel Memory Course. This is part three of the Old Testament, and we are looking at the book of Leviticus. Now, if you've been with me so far with Genesis and Exodus, you know how this works. But just in case this is the first time, let me just give you a brief synopsis of how, how we're doing this. We are using ancient Greek memory techniques that will will make this really simple and one of those techniques is called the loci system meaning that we are going to locate the information into a a, a space a location that we can remember we are going to use pegs which in this case will be numbers which will have certain pictures for each number and then we are going to tell a silly nonsensical story to tie them together or what is called chaining them together so it's loci it is pegging and then it is also chaining now here's what i'm going to do i'm going to give you just the numbers that we are going to be using in dealing with leviticus but first of all, let me say that Genesis and Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy are all located in a filing cabinet. In the top drawer, there is Genesis. And when you open the book of Genesis, you see a generator, which helps you remember this is Genesis. When you open the second drawer of Exodus, there is an exit sign that is there. For the book of Leviticus, when we open the book of Leviticus, things are going to levitate out of the drawer so that we can see them. And that's how we're going to remember that we are in the book of Leviticus. That's the loci system in locating it. The numbers that we are going to use will relate to the chapters that we're remembering so that we can walk through the book of Leviticus. And, and we're going to be wanting to remember chapters 1 through 7, and there is a sp specific picture for each one of the numbers, but I'm going to give you the picture for number 1, which is a tree. Why? Because a number 1 looks like the trunk of a tree. Number 1 is always a tree. Number 7 is dice. Think of lucky number 7, or 7 come 11, lucky number 7. But what we're going to do in this particular case, we're going to have a tree that levitates out of the drawer for Leviticus, which will have dice growing on the tree. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Then we're also going to need the picture for number eight, because we want to remember something in the, the chapter of eight. Now, the number or the picture for number eight is always roller skate, because you skate in a figure eight, it rhymes with skate, and there are eight wheels on a set of skates. So number eight is always skate. We're also going to need to remember something that happens from chapter 11 through 15. Now the picture for number 11 is always a goalpost because a number 11 looks like a goalpost and there are 11 players on the team. In this case, anything that's related to football is going to represent number 11. Number 15 is always paycheck because some people get paid on the 1st and the 15th and also Uncle Sam always wants his pay on April 15th. So number 15 is paycheck. We want to remember something in chapter 16 of Leviticus, and number 16 is always candy or candy bar. And part of that story is going to involve a candy bar. 16 is, is candy bar. So think of sweet 16, or a 16-ounce box of candy, or a 16-ounce candy bar. That would be a big candy bar, wouldn't it? We're also going to need to remember the picture for number 23. Now, to remember the picture for number 23, we take the picture of 2 and the picture of 3 and put them together. Now, the picture for 2 is always a light switch because a light switch has two ways, on, off, up, down, two screws, two wires. 2 is always light switch. And 3 is always stool because a stool has three legs. So we'll put those together and we will have an electric stool that we'll use in different ways in different pictures. And the electric stool might sometimes just light up and other times it'll spin around and other times it might be like an electric chair. But these are the numbers that you want to remember. 
One is a tree because it looks like a tree. Uh, seven is dice because lucky number seven, seven come 11. Eight is roller skate because you skate in a figure eight. Number 11 is goal post because it looks like an 11 and there are 11 players on the team. 15 is paycheck because you get paid. Some people get paid on the 1st and the 15th and Uncle Sam always wants his on April 15th. Number 16 is candy, sweet 16 or a 16 ounce box of candy. And number 23 is a two and a three, which is actually a, a, an electric stool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open the drawer for Leviticus and we're going to see these things levitate out of the drawer and tell a silly story that goes together in this. What we're going to do is as we open the drawer, we see a tree levitate up out of the drawer and it is a tree that grows dice. You didn't know that dice grew on a tree, did you? Well, it doesn't, but nonetheless, in this picture it does. And it grows, it is a tree that grows dice and the dice is not for gambling. This dice is, uh, is the dice that the Hebrews would use when they needed to figure out what sort of offering they were going to give. Now, of course, they didn't in the Bible, but the funny story helps us to remember that in chapters 1 through 7 describes different kinds of offerings. There were grain offerings and there were animal offerings such as doves and and lambs and bulls and so there this describes all the different kinds of offering then we want to remember that in chapter 8 we need a roller skate so after the tree comes up out you look in there and a set of roller skates start levitating out of the drawer now these are old antique roller skates they are they are as old as Moses why? Because these roller skates were the roller skates that Aaron and his sons wore when they were consecrated as priests. They were the roller skates that they used when they were doing their priestly service. Now, I'm sure they didn't use roller skates back in those days, but this is to make the story so that we can remember that in chapter 8, we find Aaron and his sons roller skating when they were consecrated as priests the consecrating of Aaron and his son. Now we also need to remember an 11 and 15 because chapters 11 through 15 talk about the laws of unclean and clean. Unclean and clean, whether it was in the, in the foods that they ate or the clothing that they wore, the, the laws of clean and unclean. So what we're going to see here is a football jersey. It's not a goalpost, but it has to do with football. It's a football jersey that is very dirty, grass-stained, mud-stained, everything else. And, and, and it is folded up, and it levitates up out of the drawer, this football jersey. And you notice that there is a paycheck that is pinned to the jersey. Why? Because 15 gives us the chapter 15, and the paycheck is there to have this dirty unclean jersey made clean or washed so we find the laws of clean and unclean and then you need the the picture for 16 and what do you need for 16 you need candy or a candy bar and what you want to remember in chapter 16 is the day of atonement but you need to put that with the candy bar guess what i've got a candy bar right here and notice what this candy bar says on there one now, now watch what I do with this one candy bar. Now, one candy bars are not sponsoring this video, but if they would like to, they're certainly welcome to do so. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the word at right here on this candy bar. At one. Now, it says at one, but it also says atone. Okay. Did you know that the word atone means to make us at one with God? So when Jesus made atonement for us, he put us in a relationship with Christ. And that's what atonement means, okay? So I want you to see a box of these one candy bars levitating 
up out of that drawer. And then I want you to have to take those candy bars and put the letters AT on there to atone. Okay, these candy bars are going to atone for your sins. And candy bar stands for 16. So in chapter 16, you have the Day of Atonement. Now, what was the other number that we needed to remember? Well, we needed to remember 23. And 23 is an electric stool. So suddenly a stool starts levitating out of the file cabinet for Leviticus, out of the third drawer for Leviticus, and as it levitates out, you see that it is an electric stool because you see the cord for it. And you plug in the cord and it lights up beautiful because it is the stool that you need to have if you're going to attend a special feast. Now, you might want to imagine it being a great picnic or a banquet or whatever, but whatever you want to think of as a picnic or banquet, think of it as it's going to be a feast. Why? Because until you find the feast days that are established. So what we have in Leviticus is chapters 1 through 7, you have different kinds of offerings. And in chapter 8, you have Aaron and his sons who are consecrated. And in chapters 11 through 15, you have the laws of unclean and clean. And in chapter 16, what you have is the Day of Atonement. And in 23, you have feast days that are established. Now, if you practice this story, if you practice visualizing and seeing these things levitate out of this drawer, three to 12 times over the next 72 hours, you lock it into your long-term memory the same way that you did for the book of Genesis and for the book of Exodus. Each one of them, practice them, especially as you are learning them, practice them daily for a while so that you will anchor them into your mind. If you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, Click on that subscribe button and ring the bell and choose all so that you can get a notification the next time one of these lessons come up because I'm putting up all kinds of videos as well. So you won't want to miss any of them. God bless and I'll see you in the next video.